think back about stories, you know, um, you know, I don't know if you want to touch on the, 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 the concept behind these two records. There is a huge concept behind them, as in it, it's written with a very good friend of mine called Sam Robinson. And this whole thing was born when I was home for Christmas six years ago. I vaguely knew Sam because we supported the same soccer team or football team, depending on what country you live in. For all you good Americans, soccer. Um, uh, and the game got postponed because of the weather. And we ended up in the pub, as you do. And, and Sam said the words to me that every, every musician hates, I'll be honest with you. He went, and Sam's a great guy and I love him dearly. He said, you know, what are you doing, blah, blah, blah. And I'd, I'd written some songs about Northern Ireland on my last album, Belfast Confetti. And Sam really liked that record. He said, look, you know, he said, I've written some lyrics. You know, no, when somebody says that to you, nine times out of ten, they're shite. They just are. You know, everybody's a songwriter. Everybody thinks they're a songwriter. It's like, I'm not a plumber. I wouldn't walk into your house and pretend that I know how to plumb it, do, do your plumbing. But people seem to have this thing that, well, you know, that must be easy. Any, any idiot can do that. And Sam had me these words. I, hit the, I remember thinking, oh, I really like this guy a lot, you know. And every time this happens, they're usually terrible or I can't use them. And you, you know, you don't want to hurt somebody's feelings because if they're important to them, then they're important to them and that's all that matters, you know. Who am I to judge? But he handed me these lyrics and my jaw hit the floor. And it was um, for the title track of the album and Patsy Klein was crazy and Guy Mitchell sang the blues. And that title alone just evoked so much memories for me of my childhood and growing up and I read the lyrics and he'd written it about his father and about his upbringing. And the strange thing is Sam and I grew up about a mile apart from each other, went to different schools, supported the same football team, same working class upbringing, but never met each other. I mean obviously, remember I moved away from Belfast and I was 15, but here was a guy that wrote in this song about the music that his father listened to was the same which my father listened to, about his father working during the week, having a flutter on the horses on a Saturday, winning money, buddies coming over, the whiskey coming out, the cards coming out, and we'd get to be the DJs, we'd get to put the records on. When you were 10 years old, that was a big thing, that you were in charge of the record player, and you got to put on Sinatra and Hank Williams and Johnny Cash and, and you know, Patsy Cline and Dusty Springfield and all these greats, and that was, that was magical, and Sam and I both had that when we were kids. So I just went, this, I went, this is fantastic. And as soon as he handed me those lyrics, I could hear the song, I could hear the music, I could hear the melody. And we were off, and, and it was one of those things where we just said, let's keep writing. I said, Sam, this stuff's great. This is really good. I went back to the States. We started communicating via email. I'd send him a lyrical idea. He, you know, I'd send him two lines. He'd send me back a funny song or a chorus or whatever. And we just kept working like that. Whoa.